Well, there's action of plenty of club and angle today, both on and off the track, including a tour under the guidance of Education and Welfare Manager for Harness Racing New South Wales, Maury Logue. I caught up with the former top-class jockey to explain more. Well, Morris, as always, good to catch up with you. This tour you're conducting today at Club Menegra, what's it all about? Yes, Michael, we've uh, got uh, members of the uh, Apprenticeship Support Australia here. Uh, they're an important uh, partner of ours in, in respect to signing uh, the next generation into traineeships and apprenticeships. Uh, they help us access funding and help the employers access funding. Uh, the most recent funding that's on offer is 50% wage support uh, due to COVID. So we need them. Uh, and we're just showing them the industry. Uh, a lot of people don't realise the, the various uh, career paths within the industry. They think about drivers and trainers and they forget the other vocations. Yeah, there's certainly plenty to offer as far as the office is concerned and also general duties. That's correct, and we've um, we've just come off a, uh, a recruitment drive. We've been to a number of careers markets, uh, careers expos throughout New South Wales. The most recent one uh, we went to was Penrith, uh, Newcastle and Maitland, and there was a lot of interest there, uh, particularly from the careers advisors, which uh, have commented that they weren't aware of the, how you enter the harness industry uh, until we came and set up a stall there. Well, as you all know, with the galloping industry and also harness racing, it can be a very rewarding job. It can, most definitely. You meet some fantastic people and it can take you anywhere in the world. And of course, if you love horses, it's just tailor-made. Well, it is. Uh, if you love horses and you've got a job in the industry, well, you're not really working when you go to work. And you're leaving no stone unturned as far as this tour is concerned today? No, we're not. We're showing them uh, every aspect of the industry uh, and they're, very, um, they're, they're the right people to have in our corner and we're pleased to be associated with them. Murray, Mates for Harness Racing was an outstanding success during the COVID period, something they should be very proud of. Well, thank you, Michael. Uh, uh, we've uh, had last year, since we introduced the maternity leave for female drivers, we've had uh, three applicants that we've been able to support through that period, and that wasn't there before, as you know. So we've done a lot of work there in that regard, welfare of participants, and we'll continue to uh, do so. Well, no doubt, Murray, any more tours of this nature? And the response from TAFE students, you'll certainly keep us up to date with. And how has that been going as far as the TAFE students are concerned? Yeah, we don't have a, a partnership with TAFE, but we do have a partnership with the Bendigo Harness Racing Industry Training Centre, uh, who act as our TAFE, if you like. Uh, we've got a number of students going through that program, uh, and we're looking to uh, have more students in the coming years. And they're a really good partnership. They specialise in the racing industry, particularly harness, uh, so we believe they're the right fit. How do you think you would have been going on these wet tracks we're getting in Sydney at the moment as far as the gallops are concerned, just to be week after week? Yes, they, they're never ending, are they? At least uh, when you, at Harness, you've got a uh, consistent track every week, week in, week out. Did you enjoy the heavy tracks? Uh, I, I didn't mind them, but it, it made for um, some very interesting times in the change room after the last. Maury, good to catch up with you once again. Thanks, Michael.